Hi everyone, this is Atul Kumar and you are watching Uxtrem and today we are going to learn about how to use sound inside Figma and uh, to do that we'll download one sound clip right and we'll download a GIF image, a tick just like showing on the right then we'll match the timeline inside Photoshop and uh, we'll create demo screens in Figma we'll use those created assets on our screen and then we'll do the prototype to achieve our result. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll create something like these screens, but before that, let's download our files. So go to update, then correct category, then we'll check. Correct! Yeah! Okay, so let's download this one and we'll use this. Now let's download our Lottie file. So let's search uh, success. and uh, too many options let's download second one download now let's download this as a gif let's create this one in photoshop all right, so let's open our files in Photoshop. And first I'll grab the downloaded GIF. So these are the layers of this shift file. This is the timeline. Now let's play it. Now let's add sound to this. But to do that, we cannot add sound directly over here. So what we're gonna do, let's convert this GIF into a video timeline and uh, we can repeat it as many times as we want now let's go to the bottom add audio Okay, now let's play this one. Okay, so there is a mismatch. We'll try to match this one with our tick. Right where it's giving us a right call. See over here. So here we have one second, two second, and three seconds. So we'll create three second file and let's increase this one till three seconds as well. Okay. Now let's play it. Now here, uh, we'll do two things. First, we'll export this one as a new GIF. So to do that, we'll save it as a legacy. And I'll check here once again. Right, and I'll save this, my documents, GIF, and I'll simply say whatever animation one two three four and i'll save it now i'll render this as a video okay so i'll select folder um place it at the same place 
where I have my diff and uh, okay format is good let's rename this as well and we'll render the video okay now this is saved okay so let's start with our figma file let's test our gif first so let's create our screens So we have our initial screen. Now let's create our final screen. Okay, so our screens are ready. Now let's replace our GIF image and so we have our GIF now. Let's put this to the last screen as well. Okay, so now let's put the video file. We'll put it here. And now let's check it. Now 
let's move our file outside our frame. All right, so here it is working. With that, let's start our prototyping. So first, uh, we'll create copy of this element and paste it on our second screen and push this down as well and we'll smart animate and uh, let's start prototyping so over here on click we'll uh, have a dissolve animation with curve uh, ease in and ease out okay and 300 milliseconds now this one we want this to be smart animate right and uh, duration should be 500 milliseconds and let's put after delay now we have created an animation for three seconds so let's put 3000 milliseconds and uh, now let's play this okay nice okay so let's check this again and play okay so so that's all for this video guys i hope you liked it please like share and subscribe stay tuned for the next video till then bye bye take care